Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. So today, my son comes up to me and says, Dad, I'm bored. Let's go somewhere. I want to buy some new Funko Pops. So I thought, okay, let's head out. Let's go to Walmart. We haven't left the house in a few days and just see what we can find. A Daddy Dylan day, if you will. So we go to Walmart and the first place I stop is I go into electronics to look for Funko Pops. Not really seeing anything or any character that he knows. I figure, let's swing by the Transformers aisle. Maybe I'll luck out. And... I did. I found pretty much the entire Wave 1 of Kingdom. When I first walked up, of course, I saw the bright yellow package right off the bat hanging on the shelf. And uh, so I'm looking, I'm like, okay, these look freshly stocked. I mean, there it is full. The shelves are full of these figures, but I'm not seeing any of the Voyagers. But at the beginning of the aisle is a pallet, and this associate is actually working on filling the shelves. She's cutting boxes and going up and down the aisles. So I walk around and I'm looking and there I see Hasbro Transformers Voyager Assortment. So I kind of do the look both ways thing, rip into the box and I got Primal and Cyclonus. And just to let you guys know, there are three bots to a pack, two Primal, one Cyclonus. So I'm going to quit talking bad about my Walmart because for the last few trips, I've been amazed. I found Soundwave, and now I found all these guys. Now, unfortunately, my Walmart hasn't carried anything other than Deluxes and Voyagers since the Power of the Primes line. Every leader class, or I guess they're calling them core class, legend class figures, I always have to get those online. So that kind of sucks, but man, I am absolutely thrilled that I found this entire kingdom line. So I'm gonna knock out intros for all of these figures just so I can get them cracked open and mess around with them. So let's start off with the featured bot for this video, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal. I love the artwork on these new packages. They look amazing. You got Optimus Primal right there in robot mode. There he is in gorilla mode. You see Optimus there. Just his chest. I'm still, this whole teeny tiny window is still really weird for me. Uh, back of the packaging, you got Optimus Primal in robot mode and beast mode. Uh, let's see, that's pretty much it. The side of the box, you got the new Kingdom artwork. So, yes, I am so excited. So, without further ado, let's get this guy out of the package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Optimus Primal all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with this trading card. Now this one has Dinobot on it. I really like the hologram look of these cards, but these cards are more than meets the eye. 
They're also a sticker. So peel the sticker back, revealing Dinobot, Scorponok, Black Arachnia, and looks like Air Razor right there. I love that hologram look. It's so late 80s. I dig it. But I really wish you get a card depicting the figure you buy instead of just the random ones that they're throwing in. Optimus also comes with his two swords. So that's very Beast Wars accurate. I love the looks of these swords. <laughs> really, really cool. And of course, you have Optimus Primal himself. Now, the very first thing I noticed when taking this guy out of the box was, man, he is small especially compared to his Voyager wave mate, Cyclonus here. See, they are both Voyagers, both the exact same price. And I just really don't get that. I've heard some people say, we're paying more money for all the sculpted details and the fact that this is a hefty figure. But man, same thing here. Cyclonus is great, big hefty figure. So I don't know why we're paying $30 for a deluxe size figure, but it is what it is. That's the way the Transformers has been going lately. My personal opinion, I think Hasbro realized, hey, we're giving them an Optimus Primal that turns into the season one gorilla. Throw $30 on it. They're going to buy you anyway. And yes, I did. Now taking a closer look at Optimus, he looks great. I mean, he looks like he stepped right out of the TV show. Great paint applications. The face sculpt is amazing. They did a really good job with this guy. Molded details, too. You can really make out all the fur all over the figure. Molded details up there on the chest, his chest panel, down here on the waist, the legs. Great paint applications. I love the Pistons right there for the feet. That's really cool. Now, articulation for the guy. His head is on a ball joint. Can look up and down and do a complete 360. The joints on this guy are fantastically tight. I'll let you know that right now. Arms, 360. They can go up and down. There is a elbow, or excuse me, bicep swivel, but it's more up here at the shoulder than the bicep. Also, there is wrist rotation. For the legs, legs can go up, they can go back. There is a knee bend and ankle tilt. Now Optimus comes with some hidden weapons, which is really cool. In the wrist here, if you look underneath, there's a little panel right there. Push that, which will release these wrist blasters, just like he had in the television show. And he actually has these on both arms. So push up, this one's a little tighter than the other. Push up and out. They do have a little hinge on them, so they can point up. They can point straight ahead. They can point up. And they are blast effect compatible, but you have to find the right blast effect to fit on there. So these, that fits really well, but a blast effect like this, actually, I'll take that back. It's fitting now. I wouldn't do it earlier, but I don't think... No, you can't get... Well, there you go. So yeah, that works. It looks really, really cool. The shoulder cannons up here beside his head. Those are blast effect compatible too. So there we go. I dig it. I love the hidden weapons. Nice throwback to the original Beast Wars figure. Now Optimus can also wield his swords. Got one for each hand. I forgot to show the articulation there in the hands. So the fists, or the fingers, they're all hooked together. They can open, they can close. You can put the sword in like so. Take the other sword. And now Optimus is ready to roll. I really like this figure. The only fault I see with robot mode right here is a very bad gap. I mean, you can push this up like so, leaves a gap there in his gut, you push it forward, a gap up top. But it's not bad. If you look straight ahead, you don't see it, but at an angle, that kind of sucks. Now, if you're not a fan of the shoulder cannons, you can actually hide these, take his whole back section here, bring this back, and you can flip those cannons down 
into the robot body so they're out of sight. So now let's get Optimus transformed into gorilla mode. So first thing we're going to do is remove the weaponry. And now what you're going to do is just like I did earlier to hide the guns, the shoulder cannons, you're going to pull this chest open, pull this piece up, rotate it around, take the gorilla head, flip this up, rotate that around, and then press this back into place. And then take this portion here, which was the robot chest, flip it around, forming the gorilla chest, and just snap those back in place, bringing the head down. And there we have the gorilla torso. For the arms, you just take these shoulder pieces, snap down in place over the red and white portion of his arms. There we go. You're going to take the waist, I forgot to show, waist, waist rotation. I'm not sure if I showed that or not. So you're going to turn this a 180, bring this section down. It actually tabs in. There's a slot right there that lines up with that tab. Rotate this around now. Bring the arms forward. You're going to take the legs and just kind of collapse the legs onto themselves. Like so. Like I said, there are really tight joints on this figure. So you want to get the legs looking like this. Bring the butt flap down, back flap. Bring the legs up. Take the robot feet, fold those up. Put the gut flap back in place. Rotate the hands accordingly. Extend the fingers. And there we have Optimus Primal in gorilla mode. And gorilla mode looks really cool. I love the face sculpt. The face sculpt looks awesome. All the molded fur carries over very well in this mode, though you still can see some robot paint applications with the white and the red, and of course the robot feet hanging off the back. Articulation pretty much the same as robot mode, arms all over the place. The gorilla head can look up and down, and it kind of has a slight rotation. The legs, legs can move as well, but they're a little bit limited now because of the angle. Now, you can also bring these around and fold up like so. Like I said, very tight. So you can kind of have him in a standing position. But the problem with that, it just, it looks really, really weird. It just doesn't work right. The legs just really don't collapse on each other the way that I think they should. Also here on the back, you can see the hinges or the joint for the cannons. But other than that, really cool looking gorilla mode. And now for a quick gorilla comparison, here's the brand new Kingdom Optimus Primal with his Generation 1 self. So yes, he's come a long way, though, like I said, he's a little small. And some of the things that carry over, if you look on the back of the gorillas, those robot parts still show through. But other than that, I'm really happy with the figure, and I think he looks great. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, the original Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Now, if you happen to have Paleotrex, one of Paleotrex's weapons is you can pull the head out and make this mace, which looks just like the original Optimus Prime's flail. And you can actually remove one sword here, pop that in his hand. Doesn't give him much length, but there you go. So that, that looks all right. So there's one bone weapon that actually, it doesn't give him much length at all for striking. But still, it's something you can do. And here he is with Earthrise Deluxe Class Trailbreaker. Just so I can complain about the size of Optimus Primal one more time. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal is a great Optimus Primal figure. I mean, he looks like he stepped right out of the TV show. He's loaded with weapons, though 
He doesn't have his mace like the original did, but if you have Paleo Trex, you can do what I showed earlier. Now, speaking of weapons, one thing I forgot to show off, there is weapon storage on the back of the figure. Both of the swords have these tabs right here that match up to the slot right here on his back, but you have to face the swords where the curve part is facing out. Just tab that into place. And this weapon storage works for both robot and gorilla mode. So I really like this figure. I just hate the fact that I paid $30 for a deluxe. But there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Beast Wars fan, absolutely. This is a great reimagining of that classic Beast Wars character. I mean, he looks like he just stepped out of the screen, and I love it. He's got a lot of playability, too. He's got the hidden weapons there in his arms, the swords, the launchers, or the blasters up here by his shoulders. He looks great. Great paint applications, great molded detail. The only issue, he is too damn small for a Voyager. I know some people are going to complain about the scale and all, but for $30, I'd like my figures just a little bit bigger. As I showed earlier, where is he? Cyclonus, Optimus Primal, both Voyagers, both $30. But it is what it is. We're going to be paying for the figures we love no matter what. But all in all, I still prefer the original Optimus Primal to this guy. This one, this is an amazing toy. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video... Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And make sure and stop by my channel Friday night at 9 p.m. where I'm going to interview the iconic Stan Bush live. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!